Okay, uh, my name is Surya Gadipati, and I'm a higher order tools dev at Groupon. I basically made that job title up because DevOps. <laughs> so, uh, one of my professional interests is continuous integration, so that's what I'm going to be talking about. So, this is how CI looks like it has traditionally looked. There would be like a CI server which pulls SEM and like schedules jobs on like one of these carefully tailored. Uh, machines. So all those machines are pets that demand constant attention and often end up wasting resources. That's a picture of my cat demanding food, by the way. <laughs> so, um, okay. Um, so it not just results in wasted resources, it often ends up frustrating developers. They feel like they're not in control of their destiny. And um, so it's kind of hard to get their buy-in, and they don't feel um, responsible for the um, tools. So this is my CI wish list. I, don't, I want uh, cattle instead of pets. I want all my servers. I don't want to do any kind of uh, manual environment setup, and I would like to use my resources properly. Uh, I also want to version control my job configurations. I want to treat them as source code, and I want that to get the same advantages. And I don't want to be in the business of creating jobs manually. And the fifth one is easy parallelization. This ties back to resource utilization. Slow CI is worse than having no CI, so I want my test to be parallelized. Uh, so let's talk about solutions to all those problems. Um, Docker provides a nice um, declarative format to uh, specifying your server configuration. Uh, and Kubernetes is one of the cluster managers. I think there are others like Apache Mesos and Docker Swarm, I think. So they make sure that your um, compute resources are allocated properly. So I'm going to use Kubernetes as an example here. Uh, push button job creation. This is a plugin called .ci, which is a Jenkins plugin that we use. Um, it uh, hooks up with GitHub and sets up, uh, yeah, sets up uh, uh, Git hooks. And this is an example of .ciml, the file that uh, devs check in at the root of their repo, of their repo uh, with um, all the job configurations. So you get the advantages of uh, version control. So we uh, saw the solutions to all the problems, all the wish lists that I listed. And uh, I'm going to talk about how we can like, put all these together to create an awesome CI that scales and a joy to use. So step one, install Jenkins. Jenkins is like an open source server, um, CI server. Has like uh, 2,000 like plugins. Uh, that's my pick of CI server. Uh, so .ci plugin is a plugin that hooks up with um, GitHub does stuff like um, setting up commit statuses, um, hooking up with uh, Git hooks. Um, so there's also a Kubernetes plugin. You can point your Kubernetes instance to, to Jenkins, and you can choose the Docker image that you want to use as your Jenkins slave. Um, and you can do st stuff like specifying the container instances. So this is an example of .ciml. In this example, uh, the build is parallelized to run five uh, to run tests against five versions of Ruby, and it has configurations for notifications. And this is a Docker Compose file. The dev can specify the build environment for his build, and like stuff like Redis and databases. So this is the end result. Um, when a request comes in, Q Kubernetes spins up like five servers in this case and runs tests against five different versions of Ruby. So it's like a map reduce on the build. So we can do even better. We can move all this stuff up to the cloud. GitHub is uh, cloud hosting for uh, source code. You can host your ma Jenkins master in AWS or DigitalOcean or any of those. And uh, Google and Amazon have their own container service. And that's it. I know I fit like a lot of stuff into my five minute talk, but you can hit me up on Twitter. Um, and that's the URL for the .ci repo. Thank you. Thank you.